Hello and welcome friends. I hope everybody is having a great day so far. If you're new here, welcome and I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. And if you're back for another video, I thank you greatly for all of your uh, continuing support, continuing support, and I hope you guys will enjoy this video. We have another unboxing and today we are going to look at Diamond Art Club's Black Cat by Candlelight and this is by Indigo Worlds and MHS. The diamond shape is square and it's a 39 inch by 27.6 inch canvas or 99 centimeter by 70 centimeters so it's quite large piece and let me just turn this around so you can see the um, the cat a little bit better. It's sitting kind of with a candle and some books and there's a window in the background and there's a globe. Um, it was one of the first kits that I saw that I really liked and it sat on my wish list for quite some time before I finally got around to getting it. Um, so here we go. Oh, and we have a runaway sticker. And this is a beast of a canvas. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. Here's the little sticker. And it has the artwork name, who it's by, the diamond shape, and canvas size. And this sticker is great for helping you organize your stash, or putting it in your logbook, whatever use you determine. It's great for that. This is one of the older tool kits. It comes in just that clear plastic bag. And the only difference with the old versus the newer is that this one doesn't come with a washi or cover minder. It still comes with the or two heart waxes, a pen, a squishy, a tray, and a bunch of baggies. And because it's the square kit, they'll still have the tweezers in it. It's nothing particularly special about the kit there. Let's open up this big beastie beast and take a closer look at it. Oh my goodness, okay, this is quite heavy. Act full of drills. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how I'm gonna get those all back in there. <laughs> Okay, so this is their older style brochure, step-by-step -step instructions, their thank you, their tips and tricks, um, purchase codes, all of that. It's a little bit more simplified, but it's still got all the information that you need in it. And then, of course, you still have your large sticker, which, once again, gives you the bigger thumbnail of the picture. Um, has the... Ooh, almost dropped that has the artwork name, who it's by, you can put your start end date, the diamond shape and canvas size is all there. Um, this is great for a logbook or just kind of keeping track. Once again, your, your supplies. And then it has all of your um, Kidding Up stickers here, which gives you the amount of colors, the symbol they're using, and the DMC number um, that they use for the drills. And this kit has 52 colors, and with Diamond Art Club, anything that's above 150 in their color code is considered an AB. So this kit, as you can see right there, the first two are ABs. So there will be two ABs, um, which if you don't know, that just means Aurora Borealis, and that is a drill that has the iridescent coating that makes it shimmer and sparkle just a little bit brighter and it's used to help kind of accent and highlight certain parts of the um, artwork. So here on the drill bag of course you have the sticker with the um, art piece name on it and number and there is no way I'm going to get all of these drills back in this bag. So I, oh my goodness, let's see if I can just kind of see here quickly. Um, do I want to 
you know what, what the heck, I'll pull them out. I could regret this later. But I want to be able to at least show you the ABs here. So there's 133, which is the orange AB. That looks like just a quick lots of bright colors going on in there. And the other one is a 141, so it should be white. Although, unless I'm losing my mind. There it is. It's hiding. It's just a really tiny, tiny bag. But there's your um, 141 right there. White ABs. And then, of course, if you take a look at all of the other girls in the bag there. There's a lot of browns, tans, a little bit of black, blues, reds, greens, a oh. little bit of yellow in there. So quite a bit of uh, colors. You got like your darker red, your teals, your turquoises, um, a darker kind of khaki green, your brighter greens. A little bit of gray is in there as well, so lots of gorgeous colors will make up this canvas. Um, I'm sorry I didn't actually pull them out so that you could view them a little bit better. I just, I know I would not get them back in there. And that would be no fun to try to figure out and fight with after. Um, so I'm just giving this canvas a quick roll in the other direction here. So we can take a quick peek at the picture. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. This one is quite large. Um, oh my goodness, there's no way I'm going to get all of this in there. I don't even know how I'm going to work on this one. Um, but here you've got your books, your globe, and then the start of the cat. Um, I, oh, hello. Yeah, this is going to be a fun video. <laughs> if I continue to go up, you'll see kind of the table, the bottom of the globe, all of that that's going on. And then here's more of the um, cat here with the book and the window. Kind of push it up to the bottom. You can see the book the cat's laying on, the scroll, and the um, keys there. You'll have um, the schematics on both sides of the canvas, of course. Uh, your do what makes you sparkle at the very top. Of your um, license licensing information and little thumbnail picture on the bottom left. Your middle will have the um, discount code and social media stuff, and then of course the lifetime warranty blurb that is still all on the canvas. This thing is probably one of my largest canvases to date, um, or at least it feels like it now that I've got it kind of opened and out, but very gorgeous. It's going to be stunning when it's done. Um, 
your orange ABs are going to kind of be, looks like in the windowsill area, over here on the um, book that's open, the bottom bit here of the candle has some. Go over here once again um, along the edge of the book there's a little bit of the orange ABs that'll get in there and then the other one is the white which looks like you'll have little specks of it in the uh, eyes a little bit kind of in the top of the candle and in the flame there down here with the, sorry, I'm trying to show everything here, or as much as I can. Um, the canvas, or the, or the canvas, sorry, the scroll at the bottom here in the tie, there's a couple of twos, which will be those white ABs. Um, that's mainly, I think, where I'm seeing them. But for the most part, they are pretty well, pretty well placed with little kind of spots where the, they'll make certain things kind of punch out and add. This will make, this will be really pretty here with the whites. I think it'll make it look like it's um, glowing a bit more. And then, of course, the eyes will really bring out those uh yellow brown ish kind of tones that they've got going on there um yeah so i think this once it's it'll be done once i figure out how to work this canvas too because it's so big that should be a fun project <laughs> um yeah and then of course it'll be absolutely gorgeous once it's done um, but this is black cat by candlelight which is a very nice piece. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.